ascoltarci, siete uno di noi. Se siete uno di noi, potete provarci. I would like to start asking you about the tone, because actually The Darkest Minds starts in a very, to me it was very terrifying. The world you show at the beginning is there's lack of hope. It, it, it's very difficult to, to enter. But then, little by little through Ruby's story, there's hope coming. Mm -hmm. How do you work with Jennifer and Sean and, and all the crew in order to develop this, this tone in some way? Yeah, sure. So the yeah, the world of the darkest minds is dismal. I mean, all of 90%, over 90%, 98% of the kids in the world have been killed by this mysterious disease and those who are left have these mm -hmm. powers and adults are afraid of them, so they put them in camps. So we wanted to open up the story with the tone being really dark, um, feeling like Ruby, our, our protagonist, has been beat down by this system. But then when she escapes uh, and she meets these kids on the road, we wanted to feel like the world opens up to her, which it literally does because she hasn't seen the world outside of the gates of the camp for years and years. Um, so I think you kind of feel a tonal shift in the movie there. And although the themes of it might seem really dark, I feel like there's a lot of levity in it. You know, there's all the joy and love between the family, the main family of the movie, mm -hmm. Zoo and Liam and Chubbs and, and Ruby. Um, there's friendship, camaraderie. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of where the heart of the film lies. Mm -hmm. And talking about the, the teams, uh, no, maybe, maybe message is not the right word for this movie, but what would you like the audience will, especially the young audience, will take away watching The Darkest Minds? Um, I hope that the, the young audience takes away the message that it is our responsibility to use the tools at our disposal to take down regimes or systems of government that we don't believe in. Is there anything in Ruby's character in which, in some way, you can relate your own personality? Definitely. <laughs> I think I was able to bring a lot of myself to Ruby. Um, I think you'll see me there in some of her awkwardness and discomfort at times <laughs> and uh, her sense of humor a little bit. Uh, I think I was able to kind of bring some of my own thoughts and feelings um, to, to the character when it comes to trying to figure out how to best use your voice and understanding your power and where it lies and how to be most effective with it and struggling with it sometimes, maybe sometimes being afraid of it, but realizing that if you take the time to research and you have your heart in the right place, you know how to use it. Last question, which has been for you the most challenging scene to shoot in this movie? Not only in a physical way, because I think there were a few, but especially in an emotional way. Um, Probably, there's this one scene where Ruby goes to meet her family and she hasn't seen them since she was a little kid um, because she erased herself from their memories. I, mean, I don't want to spoil too much, mm -hmm. but that was really challenging to film, thinking about what that would feel like to go back to your child at home and see your parents and they have no recollection of you. Um, that scene actually ended up getting cut from the movie in the way that it used to exist just in terms of you know putting it all together and making it feel mm -hmm. seamless it, it ended up changing a little bit but that was actually our first day of filming so we kind of got it out of the way mm -hmm. um, and then I felt kind of relieved that we had done that first but that was the most challenging and then seeing and then talking afterwards about the scene where Ruby and Liam after that happens Liam comes and consoles Ruby after this really kind of traumatic triggering event combattere non dobbiamo rimanere nascosti siamo sopravvissuti a tutto questo io combatterò per tutti noi